Hey, welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Mitch English. In today's Car Smarts, you know, there's a UK based activist group that is deflating SUV tires in its war against climate change. So, in today's Car Smarts, Lauren Fix, the car coach, is going to tell us what they're doing across the pond that has made its way to the United States. Are you aware that tire extinguisher activists are deflating SUV tires in the US? Yeah. They are, and having a flat tire is frustrating as it is, but finding out that someone flattened your tire to prove a political point will infuriate you. A UK-based activist group called the Tire Extinguishers, spelled with a Y, uh, is an activist group that's known for deflating tires and has spread its activities to the U.S. They claim they're deflating tires on dozens of SUVs in several major cities, including New York, Chicago, and the Bay Area, International news has been reporting about this terrorism or activism, and the BBC reports that the activist group has deflated tires on hundreds of cars in wealthier neighborhoods across the UK. Now this group has spread its radical volunteers to the US and other countries. The group cites the climate disaster is a primary reason for their actions. SUVs have been called out by the UN itself for their impact. Notably, the protest group runs in a leaderless fashion, and the aim is to inspire individuals to participate independently. The Tire Extinguisher's website shares guides on how to spot an SUV, how to deflate its tires safely, and specific instructions are given to target wealthy and middle-class areas that are more likely to feature these vehicles. Hybrid and electric vehicles are considered fair game as well, with the group citing a high environmental cost of producing and running these large vehicles. The typical tactic used is to place a lentil or a piece of gravel into the valve stem, depressing the valves in with that stone, and then putting the valve cap, screwing it back on, holding the debris in place, and allowing for the air to leak out. That lets the activist time to flee the area when the tire continues to deflate. Advice is given to practice on bicycle tires first, then start working on SUVs in that area. Fundamentally, it's a method that's far easier and safer than outright slashing the tire, but it's also more likely to inspire annoyance rather than sheer outrage. As with most political movements, there's a leaflet involved, which is placed on the vehicle targeted by the group. It notifies the owner that the vehicle has been disabled and the group's reason for doing so. Owners are advised that they will have no difficulty getting around without your gas guzzler with walking, cycling, or public transportation. The leaflet has been translated into 10 languages. How lovely. Deflating people's tires is unlikely to win the group many fans, or inspire SUV owners to make a greener choice. Instead, the overall goal is to step up operations to the point where it is impossible to own a huge polluting SUV in the world's urban areas. That's their quote, not mine. Many more tires will have to be let down to achieve that target. And in the meantime, a handful of SUV owners will wake up frustrated now and then to find another leaflet and another flat tire. Here's the bottom line. The first thing to do is to call roadside assistance, which dispatches a six mile per gallon smog tow truck to come out and run its onboard gas compressor to fill the tire with air and put the supposed gas guzzler SUV back on the road with its six mile per gallon service truck. In addition, messing with people's personal property could be very dangerous, and you don't know how people will respond if they catch the terrorist could be really ugly. And should the word activist be replaced with the word terrorist? Hmm. Either way, this is not likely to inspire anyone. It's an annoyance rather than forcing anyone to change their opinion to buy an EV or get rid of their SUV. What would you do? I'm Lauren Fix, and you can find this information on my website, carcoachreports.com and dailyflashshow.com.